Live in color, living color. We Technicolor. are living single. Ooh, in a 90s kind of world. I'm glad I got my girls. Keep your head up. All right, keep your head up. That's right. My home girl standing to my left and my right, true blue. We tight like glue. Yeah, check, check, check it out. Check, check, check it out. Check, check it out. Did you never watch Living Single? I have starring her queenness Latifah. I have literally never watched Living Single. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was on reruns all the time. <laughs> Woo! Hey, everybody! Welcome. I unfortunately do. Oh, I used to watch that all the time. You know, it was like Living Single. Martin and Moesha. That was like the, the trifecta Saturday afternoons. Moesha. Yeah, strange men. Everybody remember Moesha? A strange, strange man. That's true! Golly, Hooks gets it. Uh, hi, hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hi, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, they're playing it again. You know what? Deal with it. We are... I'll tell you what. My original plan, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Yeah. I wanted I wanted you to bring your PC in so we could team up, try to get Jason kills. Didn't happen. Didn't I happen. know you were, you were busy before you came here. You um, have, unfortunately, you know. I've been running around all day, um, and I just haven't been home. And I just, you know, like, I, I've been driving around all over the place. Like, I drop off stuff here, pick up stuff here. And I just didn't want my PC in the car for that long. I came so close, like, four times to get a Jason kill. Yeah. One time I... I was playing. I'd already escaped. Yeah. It was like a really bad Jason. And, uh... It, you know what? Not to get you too off track, but, like, when it's when you escape and you don't even see Jason, it's kind of like, oh. <laughs> wait, wait. When you don't even see Jason? Like, well, like, when... No, those are my favorite ones. That means I did a great job. I, I guess what I'm saying is there are sometimes you win in Friday the 13th and it doesn't feel satisfying. It doesn't feel satisfying if, like, the car drives by you and then they stop and you get in the car. Those are the ones that feel unsatisfying. <laughs> sure. But if I run around and I get the parts together for either the boat or one of the cars and I just don't run into Jason, mm -hmm. I'm fine with that. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. No, no. I I had already escaped and Jason, like, hadn't killed everybody yet and the cops were called. And, like, two people walked out, like, the exit for, like, the police. So then I spawn as Tommy Jarvis. Right by the police e exit, where everybody else... It's like a clusterfuck by the police exit, and Jason's trying to kill people. I noticed one of the one of the players by the exit, where I spawned as Tommy, had the sweater. Oh. And, like, we're trying to get that, that last-minute kill, like, trying to get hits in on him, and it just didn't, it just didn't work. Nice. It was so close. And, like, I've, I've gotten his mask off a few times, yeah. and all of a sudden people start freaking out, like, Whoa! Whoa, can we do this? Can we do this? Do we, have, do we know where his check is? And then everyone dies. <laughs> uh, Just me and one guy who was Tommy. He didn't know how to do it, but I knew how to do it. I'm yeah. like, follow me. Follow me. Is it plugged in? It looks like it's plugged in. Is that other thing you have plugged in? No. Try it. Let's try this again. Uh, uh, since they've done the update, uh, we're you know we're also playing this because they recently updated it with fun new retro NES Jason's. Uh, oh wait, is it's it's on? I think it was on OBS. It wasn't highlighting the game. Oh, there you go. You're right. Um, uh, since the update and and they've patched some of the issues that people were having, like some of the spawn locations that where people were cheating. Uh, Dutch angle and the camera might be a little bit fucked up. Is the camera a little bit? Yeah. Oh, I can see it. Yes, it's very tilted. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well. Yeah. Here, just rich, just, just lean. start. Oh, go to just go to lean. go to what? Change this. Go to Jason and select the retro skin. Oh yeah, of course. Of Is that course. I think the legs are just fucked up. Which Take a look. Yeah, shorten that one. This one? Yeah. In in shorten it. That looks good. And now like swivel it more towards you. More towards you. Right there should be good. Alright, alright. Use push to talk. Yes. 
<clears throat> yeah, that's perfect. There we go. Okay. Uh, customize Jason. And so if you go to uh, part three, Jason, change skin. Oh, you get clap. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that adorable purple Jason. It's a nice novelty. I like the music on him. You don't hear the music when you play as him. Is that true? Yeah. Oh. You hear it as a, you know, as a counselor yeah. playing against him. Yeah, yeah. I think I think they as Jason you for gameplay reasons you need to be able to hear things. Yeah. Like if you're in a in a cabin and you hear a counselor like open a window, you you don't want music blaring over that. Uh, so and you I suppose it'd be like the on. same loop over and over again right. for all games. Right. Right. That makes sense. All right. Quick play. Quick play, motherfucker. I've been having some good Friday the 13th games today. Yeah. I've been feeling really good. A lot of teamwork, a lot of cooperation, a lot of, you know what, just a lot of good talking. It's all talking. it's all about the group you get. Agreed. Agreed. So much so, like, I, you know, because we're, we're, we're doing this for the, for the next uh, show, for the next pre-rec, which I need to talk to you about filming, by the way. Yeah, we'll see. This is going to be a busy week. I know. Hint, the things are going on. Things busy week. Going on. Very busy week. Might want to see if I can if we can sneak it in tomorrow. Very By the way, the music made that I want to I want to see if I can trust you people. Uh -oh. oh my god, this ping. What? Oh, no. oh, those pings are awful. Oh my god. Let's let's find Just find one. a new. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna trust them. We have hundreds of people probably watching this, right? Usually hundreds. Uh, well, I mean, we can see how. Yeah, hundreds. Sure. Uh, how, how? What are the odds they can keep a secret? What are the odds they can keep a secret? Very slim. Slim? Very slim. Because if I, if I hear about this anywhere else, I'll know how it leaked. I'll know I can't trust you fuckers. Yeah, but they don't care. They don't care. But this, this is the trust. You know what? This is the trust test. You're giving them a trust I'm test? I'm giving them a trust test. We have we have 434 viewers right now, Rich. You're going to trust 434 strangers? I am. Oh, my God. I have officially built a completely new wheel of the worst. Oh, that's big news. I can't believe you just said that. Fucking completely new. I repaired the old one. Yeah. But fuck it. Yeah. Fuck it. I, I got a, I got bigger ideas. Better I we can we can do this better. And you know what? It's fucking great. <laughs> he showed it to me the other day and it's great. It's fucking great, and that no, and, and you know what? How, are we gonna start taking bets on how fast that's on Reddit? <laughs> <laughs> now, now everybody, you know what? Then I never say anything again. Rich has asked you to keep this under your hat, <laughs> and if you want us to trust you, then do that. All right. If I hear about this before the episode goes up, I will know I cannot trust anyone. Yeah. All right. Who do we want? Who do we want? Who do we want? Who do we want? Get something special for doing random Jason? No, nope. not really. I just like playing, you know, as different Jasons. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Reddit has been, it's on Reddit now? It's on Reddit already? Yep, I'm sure. God damn it. <laughs> then I, I never share anything ever again. Pretty much. Ever again. You, you, you fucked it. You fucked it. There we go. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh God. I didn't have, you know what I didn't think. I thought all of your counselors would have customized options already, and some of them didn't. And I was trying to quickly customize, trying to quickly customize. The best one from the stupidest movie. I, was, I was talking about this in yeah. the chat before the stream had actually started. Yeah, yeah. You know what I am legitimately hyped yeah. for? What? You know, all these style, new style. You excited about the new style? No. You excited about the new Spider-Man? Eh, you excited about that new Marvel movie? No. Sure, sure. No. I am super fucking hyped for the DuckTales reboot. <laughs> like, I am, I am super fucking hyped. Yeah. Oh, could be. Could be could us. Be. Uh... Scrooge McDuck? Yeah. Because, you know, the, the old voice, like, is the voice of Scrooge for... <gasps> it's you! I haven't... You're been... Purple Jason! Uh, okay, look at this, everybody. Be purple Jason. Jason. Stop them. By the way, uh, not to... No, you know what? I'm not going to derail you. You're super hyped about DuckTales. Yeah. You know who the... Uh, I, I talked to you about this, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. Scrooge McDuck. Because, you know, uh, 
the old voice of Scrooge for like the last 40 or 50 years, Alan uh, Young, yeah. uh, died a couple years ago. Right, right. And, and if it wasn't dead, he was like really fucking old and his voice wasn't there anymore. <laughs> so the new Scrooge McDuck is David Tennant, the, the doctor. The doctor, David Tennant, yes. I know what you fuckers are going to try to do. Get in the car. Well, good luck, motherfuckers. Good luck. All right, where's the phone at? I see someone over here. It looks glad. It looks terrible, but you're glad they added it. It does look terrible. Oh, yeah. I, I think if they were going to do I understand this is something they hastily threw together as a freebie. Yeah. As, as a we're sorry, the servers have kind of sucked. If, if, they, were, if they were doing this right... They would have made him look pixelated. Uh, yeah. It would be a blocky Jason. Maybe. Man, I don't know. I, th I think it's cute just the way it is. Look at his boots. He's got the boots. It's gr Oh, my God. This house has no windows. He'd, he'd be made out of squares. A whole bunch of squares. Cubes. And the, the animations would be... Doo -doo -doo, you know? Yeah, yeah. That'd, that'd be the way to do this. That would break the game even more, and it's already fairly but broken. You can't hear it. You don't hear it when you play as him, but the music when you're a counselor, counselor and he's chasing you is, is great. Oh, that's not the phone. I was hoping that was the phone power. What, what is Purple Jason? Purple Jason is based on the NES Friday the 13th game. Jason had that color scheme in the game. Here's a little trick that pissed me off when I found it. You put two traps there. Yeah. Oh, God, that yeah. pissed me right the fuck off. Oh, oh, hello. Someone in the phone house. You get him, Jack. You go, you fucking... Oh, you didn't lock the door. <laughs> you didn't lock the door. <laughs> Maybe you can sneak up on him. Turn around. Yeah. Oh, I... oh, oh, they just got went out the window. <laughs> Oh, well. I'm going to open this door, too. Make it easier for me. Oh, I got my shift. Skulltola Houses. Hopefully got a new prereq fan to tune in tonight. They love Plinkett, Half of the Bag, and Nerd Crew. Shout out to red one seven five five four zero one f Wow. Rick Berman and Applebee's. All right. I see what you got there. I see what you got there. Doobie Sandwich says, Harlack. Ah! I saw an early Friday the 13th stream where a sen senior editor of a game site had a child who kept interrupting her. My point is, during your solo streams, how do you keep your kids from bothering you? During my solo streams, uh, I, I hook, hook. Huh? Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, <laughs> I always. That's why if I'm ever doing a solo stream, you'll you'll notice that I uh, start very very late after my kids' bedtime, and usually, hopefully, oh boat. Oh my god, I've been ignoring the boat this whole time, Rich. Sometimes you just gotta keep your eye on the boat every oh, now and then. Oh yeah, look at that. See, they already got some shit in here. How do you know that? Huh? The, the, it's down. Oh, oh. And I'm out of traps. See, see how the propeller's down. Okay. That means the, you, the propeller's use, already. Use your sense and see who's looking for the stuff. There you go. Oh my God! Really? Oh, Ch Chad. Come here, Chad. What are you doing? I'm dead, but there's. <laughs> You're coming in the water. Oh, come on, get him. What are you doing? It's, the, it's on the boat. Can I not just yeah, just? I got it on the boat, but I'm gonna die. So get out if you can. <laughs> that was nice of him. Nope. <laughs> I love it when the bodies fly. <laughs> Let the bodies hit the woo. Let the bodies hit the woo. To die. Make them suffer like we did. Okay. I will. All right, we're gonna go check out. 
Always the car. Always, Always the, car. the car. Let's yes. go check out that. Oh, wait. No, not a lot of work done on that old car there, I see. Well, I might have the gas in. You don't know. You don't know. You know what? I'm going to do a little work ahead of time here. Yeah, that's the smart thing. Because you know what? They're going to be by this car. They're going to want to go in here. <laughs> You're doing great, Jack. You're doing great. You got your murder You got your murder on. Ah, uh, you know, it's been so, uh, my, my Jason, oh, look, uh, there's just nobody your, around here. Your Jason drought is over. My Jason drought is over the first time I play tonight. But any, any kind of achievements, it's only helping me out because we're playing on my account. That's fine. I don't, I just, <laughs> I just want to murder people. <laughs> I win no matter what. <laughs> <clears throat> wow, you okay? I'm fine. Okay, great. I'm fine. Some blue guy in chat says, was waiting for your next stream for a tip I forgot to give in response to the Beyond Good and Evil 2 trailer. Yeah! To take a page from Jay's book, they're thinking about it. Is she fucking that monkey? No, nobody's thinking about that. You are, because you're a pervert. Apparently. Apparently just some pervert like you is thinking about it. The boat! Oh, the you, boat! You knew! You knew he was on the radio! I got distracted and the boat got away. Oh, I feel like a jackass now. <laughs> oh. Wait, does that mean my trap has been sprung? What trap? If, if it's a red, does it mean my trap has been sprung? I'm not sure on that. I know you hear the noise. Okay, I haven't heard the noise. I don't know, I don't know if you hear it when they disable it with the pocket knife, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there they are. Stock. Stock. Wait. Ow. Yeah, I did it. I no, did. you didn't. No, you didn't. They can hear your sweet music, though. <laughs> Hello! Oh, shit. They're, wor they're working together. <laughs> they're working together, Rich. But I'm going to kill them. Wake up. Wake up, dickhead. Let's go. Anonymous says... Rich said Jack played Vanquish wrong. <laughs> and, and Cummins said similar things about you guys and Bayonetta. Yeah. Maybe Platinum is great at making games, but terrible at explaining how to best play them. That could be. Man, if only they had developed the game. Oh, shit. I'll agree to that. That could be. That was, that was a great yeah, shift. Uh, that was a great shift. Yeah, well, you know what? I hit the rocks, and so I need... I, I, <laughs> You went like a, a perfect circle. I had to I had to do a U-turn real quick. <laughs> Hi. Oh, dicks. I hit a, I hit rocks that I knew I couldn't get over. So then I had to make a call, Rich. Don't close the door on me, you dickheads. Of course they're gonna close the door on you. Oh, and they locked Just it too. Just shift, morph out, morph out. Use the teleport. Just go right outside the window. Like, go like a, a micro fraction of sure. a. Now Where are use they? your. Where are they? They're probably behind you. I think you went on the wrong side of the house. Son of a bitch. You looked at the wrong point on the arrow. Oh, and I turned. Oh, man, I'm failing. I'm failing, Rich. It's back. It's it's active again. You can use it. There, there you go. Oh, there, you go. there you go. What are you guys thinking? Hi. <laughs> Backseat driving? I'm just trying to help. You want some more? He's helping. No, Rich is helping. We already know at least at least one person got away in the boat. You can hit uh, up on the D-pad and you can find out exactly. It'll say who escaped. Oh, sure. Just want to check. Oh, yeah. Just want to check if there's any. Ah, gotcha! Yay! Punch his head off! <laughs> That's one of my favorites. That was one of the first ones I bought. <laughs> oh, uh, disable the phone. <laughs> she doesn't know. Huh? She doesn't know. She doesn't know she's gonna die? <laughs> she doesn't know you defixed the phone. I defixed it. Oh shit! I hate that. One. There. Kill me with dignity. What's that mean? You can't hear me. <laughs> you can't hear me. Where is you at? 
she walked outside, I think. You think? I heard the window. I heard the. Uh, uh, uh. She. Oh! Oh, she! Oh, she fell into my trap again. Where's, the, where's the phone in here? That could be the trap by the car. Oh, I guess it could be. Oh shit! That's right. I hate. Use that. your vision. Use your vision. Is she outside? Huh? Oh. Did the trap kill her? Oh, I wonder. No. Oh. Ooh, that was a close one. Kill for mother. All right. Um, positive nihilists. Hey, Pack Jackard and Itch Ravans. I'm planning on making a documentary, kind of in the spirit of the Odyssey. Have you guys got some tips as to what I should avoid doing? Happy Midsummer Solstice. Well, I have zero experience making documentaries myself. Jack, do you have any documentary tips? You have murder tips right now, and I think you should focus on... Just grab them. Oh. Come on. Oh, bullshit. Oh, you're... Are you... Come on. That's horse shit. That was horse shit. I was right there. Damn it, no. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> Did I win? Nope. Apparently not. Anyone around here? Right, I'll, I'll ask Jack about the documentaries later. Well, shit. I'll go take out some more. Uh, okay, documentaries. Uh, you know, I'll always they, they say always have an idea of the story you want to tell, but you can never uh, be attached to that story. That's just what they say, the people who say stuff. Okay. Because, like, you find the story while making it is, uh, is the general consensus. Come on. So don't have preconceived story notions. Well, you know, you, gotta, you have to start somewhere. Right? Where is this guy? Hit up on the D-pad. How many are left even? It's just one? Yeah, just one. Well, I guess I'll just take out this power thing over here. And, you know, we'll just keep taking out power yeah, stuff yeah. and look for him. And shoot so much footage. You need, like, you know, like a normal film. You know, you, should, you have... Or, you know, like for a video, you have 40 hours of footage and you only end up with one hour. Yeah. It's like 10 times that for documentaries. You just need a million things. You over here? You over here? Where are you? You hiding? Probably has one of those perks where you hide. Well, you know, we'll just... I guess we'll check the campsites, right? Uh, yeah. Check the outskirts. Check the bags. If you have all the power generators down, eventually the fear should overtake them. Anyone and idea? they'll show up easier. Yeah. But Floss 21 says, Rich and Jack, yeah. hope you guys check out the Wolfenstein, the new order, before the new Colossus comes out. I plan to. It's not as fast-paced as Doom 2016 and functions as more of a hybrid slash prototype, but it's still great. Actually, I plan to. What I played first, though, was I played, uh, actually, Brutal Wolfenstein 3D. Oh, yeah? This is all right. Not as good as Brutal Doom. Oh, oh. There you go. Oh, oh. I know I should wait, but I want to get to you. I get it. I totally understand. Come on. Oh, you dickhead. Thank you. The William Meister says, Hey, Jack and Rich. Hi. A little late to the stream, so I apologize if you already discussed this. You should. Thoughts on the double whammy of Daniel Day-Lewis retiring and Lord and Miller getting axed from the Han Solo Solo movie? <laughs> well, you know, what I really like about the DuckTales reboot yeah, is that the reboot. they've give, given Huey, Dewey, and Louie, like, you know, different personalities this time. They have different outfits. They have different running animations. 
And, you know, the character of Webby doesn't seem as annoying as she used to be. That seems nice. And you know what? Here, uh, also, the thing about uh, the doctor, Mr. Uh, oh, my God. I'm David Tennant. Mr. David Tennant is that he is Scottish. Yeah. He's a yeah, Scottish it's, actor. it's a legitimate accent this time around. Yeah. I, don't know, I think I think he's going to be good in the part. He's hiding under a bed, Rich. He's just, ki just killing time. Oh, I think I'm close. <laughs> God damn it. Making me work for it. He's making me work for it. The other room. The, the room you're right by? Oh, never mind. There it is. I thought you got that bed. Oh. I thought you totally thought you already had that bed. <laughs> is, is it going to be 3D animation or 2D? 2D. They actually have the, the intro online already. Oh, neat. I think that's great. I would have straight up just started running. It's not smart to just stay on there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's a good Maybe tip. Maybe you will see it, I really wish that they had taken the goddamn time to make Retro Jason feature in the cinematics. <laughs> right? It's so disturbing seeing not Retro Jason in these cutscenes. Oh, kid. kids are talking. Oh, gee. oh God. Oh, Jesus. Uh, no, and I think that's great. I think that's great. Uh, David Tennant is a is a is a fine actor. He's going to be a fine voice for it. I do. You know what? I'll talk a little bit about Lord Miller. I'll okay. I'll talk just a little okay. bit about Lord Miller. One, like, how surprised can you be after after Disney got rid of fucking Edgar Wright, right? You can be a little more surprised because Lord Miller. Literally, the only movies they've ever made have been adaptations, and all of their movies are incredibly successful yeah. and critically acclaimed. Yeah. So at this point, you're just like, let these two guys <laughs> who make adaptations <laughs> and their adaptations make money do their thing, right? But at the same time, Disney has their thing. If they're not comfortable working with the directors, like, this has happened before. Yeah. We can't be surprised. Yeah. Daniel Day Lewis, I don't care that he's not acting anymore. I'll be honest with you. Like he's made fine he's, movies. He's, yeah, he's, yeah. He's made some really good movies. And everyone, now that we've been talking about Lord Miller, later. I wasn't able to change my counselor. God damn it. Oh, AJ's fine. Yeah. Hmm. See, no, here's the thing. Darkwing Schmuck says Lord and Miller aren't on Wright's level. R Edgar Wright doesn't have a lot of commercial success so from disney's perspective it made a lot of sense to ax him lord and miller have a ton of commercial success with adaptations so it actually makes less sense for disney to fire lord miller edgar wright has made fantastic movies phenomenal phenomenal movies. I'm not dissing on Edgar Wright. I'm just talking about the box office. We're talking about the box office. Edgar Wright has more commercial success than Lord and Miller and live action. Sure, if if you if you discount if you discount the Lego movie and cloud the cloudy movies. Why why would you? Why would you? Is the question. <laughs> why would you? That's a great question. And and all of their Twenty One Jump Street movies have been successful. All of their, all, I think they only did two of them, maybe more. But uh, so it's weird. It's weird. It's weird, is what it is. Uh, the last note that Rich won't care about, but uh, we'll we'll say it because uh, maybe it'll maybe it'll annoy him. Uh, they announced who the villain is going to be in the in the Venom movie. Oh shit! Something. Right by the car. Carnage. Right by the car, Rich. Ah, it's the yellow car. He'll be fine. You have a map? Now I got a map. Yeah, but he doesn't know what car it is. All right, you know what's good about her? Ah. Stealth character. He comes by the car. Hide. Crouch. Hide until he puts his traps and goes away. Yeah, you're right. And he won't have his vision yet, anyway. Um. Yeah, it's Carnage. Okay. So. I, the, I, I, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, gas. Are you planning on watching the Venom movie for some reason? Eh, Tom Hardy. 
Oh, we got a map. Oh, I got gas, Rich. But I'm going to be courteous, and I'm aiming for the four-seater. Get out! Keep searching the houses. Find find keys. Yeah, but I'm just going to head towards the four-seater. There's a house down there that nobody's going to check. That one to your right that's north. Damn it, you're right. Sorry, I'm, I'm backseat no, gaming. That's no. backseat gaming. That's not that open. Is backseat gaming. That is backseat gaming, and I apologize. That was, but you I mean, and I concede that you're right. That I should go and check this. Oh, do you, by the way, do you know, and I haven't looked this up yet, do yeah. you know how to get the Pamela tapes? I have found none of them. I've never found one of them. Some people say you can only find them playing on Friday. Oh. I just listen to them on YouTube and it's fine. They're not that exciting. Oh, no, I know. I just want to, I just want to know where they are. I, I assumed. The, the, I've seen, I've, I don't know if it was faked. I've seen images of them just being in drawers. This is why you check the house. This is why you check the house. I told you to check. O M G. <laughs> we got gas. We got keys. We are heading to that four seater, motherfucker. Check the, check the objectives. Did somebody get the battery in already? Maybe you're right. No. No, just Tommy. Well, we got Tommy called, so that's pretty good. Like, and I will say, usually for me, ooh, hello. Usually for me, like you know, finding this stuff is good, but it's all about that fuse box. All about starting that cop countdown. Pamela Anderson? No, Pamela Voorhees. Jason's mother, a.k.a. the killer in Friday the 13th, part one. All right. Stay calm. Oh, no, he's he's over by he's over by the car. Stay calm. It's fine. I can get out of here. I can get out of here. It's fine. I saw him. He's over by the car doing his car thing. He's not even he's not even looking over here. We're just going to take a, a, a little jaunt over to that four seater. And uh, so there are there are hidden tapes somewhere in the game. Yeah. And uh, I don't even know where to look for them. I I just think they're comically rare. Sure. And that could be that could be. And it's it's they're like I think here's the they're here's like the psychiatric tapes of yeah. Pamela Voorhees talking. Yeah, yeah. She's talking to the police like right after her son has drowned. Like oh. they're dredging like the lake looking for him and he's sure. not officially dead yet. They're, they're searching and she's gotcha. free. She's freaking out in the police tapes. Ah. And she eventually devolves to the point where she's like, I'm going to kill all of you. Shit. No, nope. I'll just let Jason kill that person and make my way to the car. But here's what we're going to do here. Here's the smart play. I'm going to put the gas by the car. Yeah, that's probably smart. And then find and then look around some more so so Jason thinks that no one's working on the car. Oh, battery's in. Oh my god, the, never mind. Shit. Run! Oh, come on. Well, yeah, at least the <laughs> gas is there. <laughs> I was I was mid drop animation when it flickered so I couldn't <laughs> run. I was mid drop animation. It was it was a nice attempt. Uh, I had my plan, Rich. So you just like ripped your leg off? Yeah, that was a neat kill. Yeah, I guess, but I hate that Jason. Uh hello. Oh, uh, they don't know. They're carrying they're gonna carry that gas all the way there. I didn't have a walkie-talkie. I couldn't tell them. There's hopefully, no time. hopefully they'll find your keys. Oh yeah, my keys are on my body. But they don't know that the keys are there. They don't know that the gas is there either. Oh, this is a this is a disaster for the counselors. A disaster. But no, no, sorry, Richard. The counselor. There's only one left. Oh, <laughs> he killed he killed Buzzy. Yep. That was quick. Oh man, this this is a good Jason right here. This Jason is oh, and with throwing knives he killed the last one. Oh yeah yeah. Well, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a little breather here and work on some perks for some other people. I'll tell you, I I like to go one of two ways. Yeah, I like to go nerdy girl, because she has oh she's great. She has good stealth and she's a quick fixer. Yeah, that's super important. Yeah. Or I like to go either long-haired blonde dude for my muscle. 
His well, stamina is so fucking awful. His stamina is awful, but his muscles great. It's only it's like yeah, if you're going for a kill. Well, but you need a well-rounded team. You need a muscle to stun people while someone else fixes the car. Which if, is this is this is true. Yeah. This is very true. But if I were working on my own, like if I'm not in a group, if yeah. I'm not playing with a group, yeah, yeah, AJ or the nerd girl. Sure, but you you know what you have to go into this, and and I've run. Across oh, I, this. I you have to go into this thinking that people are going to be talking, and like that's been the best cases where it's like. I'm a really fast person, so I'm like, I'll, I'll go to this house and search it out, and I'll meet you back here. Oh, here's the gas can. You should have this because your character has the better stats. You give me the bat, and I'll watch your back. I, I, what, I'm, what I might do is I – well, what I, what I do do is I wait until I find a good group, a and then dude. maybe I'll think about changing my character to a group – to a team player. Sure. Till then, I'm AJ or Nerd Girl. And your Nerd Girl doesn't have any of her stats. What kind well, of stats I'm, we like? Well, here. Yeah, you're going to – Car starting time decrease. That's pretty good. You got some good epic ones. What's this one? Start with walkie-talkie. Increase range of your voice. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's certainly not great. Not gr oh no, not great. I I would I, I like this one. I use this one a lot. Mm -hmm. Increase the radius of the firecrackers. That's a that's a good one. I've not played around with it much, but oh, it's great because Jason is is not used to that one. What's your plan with her? If if I choose her, yeah. So she's a stealther and a repairer. So I might want to look for something that can get me some more stamina. Oh, no, no. Do you have the one where if he drops you, you get a stamina boost? Yeah, yes. Yeah, this one. And then we got to up her stealth one. Where's the one where if you crouch, you're hit, you might be hidden? Oh, I don't think I don't know that I have that one. I don't think I have a crouching one. Oh, this is a good one. Less chance of being detected by Jason's yeah. sense while indoors. I don't have that one. That's a great one. I have the one where if you're crouching. I'm fond of this one. Look at that fucking percentage. Reduce feet. Oh, my God. That's great. Well, I got, I got gonna... thick skinned, which isn't bad, but maybe less so for her. Also, as part of the update, and we got to update the outfit. Oh, you totally have to update the outfit. They released some new outfits. Oh, uh, look at that. <laughs> Uh, oh, you know what? No, I have. I think I have her black jeans. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Wait, better shoes. Purple? No, not bright enough. No, Wait, wait I got enough. I got purple pants for her that kind of work with the darker with that that other sweater of hers. Yeah. Yeah. All right, hold on. Oh, there we go. Bright blue purple pants. Now go up and the other sweatshirt. The other of the new sweatshirts. I think that's a great look for her. You know what? That's a nice <laughs> outfit, Rich. I'll accept that. I'll accept that. That is a very nice outfit. <laughs> That's a very nice outfit. He's my bruiser. Let's see here. Increase melee attack. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, I'll take that. We'll take that. And you know what? We'll find a, a nice outfit for him. What? Oh, you just got you got a lot of jackets. Let's see here. He's got a lot of... Let's see. What are the new ones? I like this one. Look at that. That's BA right there. Boom. That's badass. Let's get some nice kicks. Kind of kicks we got here. <laughs> Boom. Oh, look at that! It's a little splash of bright blue, teal. Never mind, teal. <laughs> you get to play dress up. I mean, yeah, he's afraid a lot. Yeah, that's why I have that for him. I don't like axes. Do you have the bat one? There's one where you start with a bat. I think I have it. I think it's that one. Increase melee stun time while Jason with the Oh, see, there we go. Take less damage. Oh, yeah, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Fear reduce quicker. Go one. Look at the one that lets you use two med sprays. That and thick skin is actually not a bad combo. Ooh, You're like a tank. Nice. These are good perks. Yeah. You got good perks, Rich. Look at, look at my CP. Oh, I see. No, and you know, everybody this weekend is getting that massive CP I'm going to have 20000 to spend. Mm -hmm. It's going to be great. Increased chance of stunning. Oh, here we go. So, so we got increased stun time on Jason with baseball just bat. Just with a baseball bat. And increased ch just chance of stunning Jason. Her, if you want. That's my job. I know, I know Night Owl is good I'm and all. I'm a stunner. Yeah. But... If you're going full on combat, go to the one with the the melee weapons. You might be able to get like another hit in before it breaks. Ooh, sure. All right. 
if you want to go full on min max. Yeah, no, that, that like my my job if I choose him, he's the stunner. Like yeah. every, other people will fix stuff, I'll just be there to keep Jason at bay. All right. All That's right. That's my plan for him. Okay, great. Anonymous great. says, "Hello friends, watching old half in the bag." Love that sequence with Plinkett's old colostomy bag and Mike and Jay vomiting cream corn everywhere. Mm -hmm. Is that stuff fun to shoot or more of a pain because of the mess? Both. It's very fun to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> you're, not so you're not so happy after the fact. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to say the Evil Dead sequence was worse to clean up. <laughs> uh, that, was, that, was wor that was terrible to film, too, because it was cold. <gasps> yes, I remember that. Covered in, in sticky, cold, wet fake blood and it's already cold to begin with oh, that was that was awful and everything is just slimy and sticky ah great sequence mm -hmm. baghead jason because we already saw the other that's fine that's so. fine uh I'm, you know so you're, you're a bag you're totally a baghead oh he's got more traps and he has that he has that cool one he has the, one of the greatest uh not one of the. I mean, all the kills are fantastic, but he has the, the. Oh yeah. The good one where you hit him in the side of the head with your pickaxe and then turn yeah, the head yeah. 180 degrees. It's like ah. <laughs> I love that one. I love all the kills. I think they're great. I think it's great. Crane Hand Crisis just wanted to leave you guys a tip for the fantastic stream on Sunday. Keep up the good work. I'm Batman. We didn't stream on Sunday. Good night, Joe. Oh, okay. Where are the other Where are the drugs? Oh, he's doing Where are the other drugs, Claude? You're not gonna you're not gonna get in on this action? No, because then it turns into a pissing contest and I don't want to do that. I'm not here for a pissing contest. <laughs> Joker. That's a nasty ass looking baby right there. <clears throat> okay. Anonymous says. Now that the Han Solo movie is having some production problems, mm -hmm. I think a good story would be that he's a prince, but he ran away from home and started his life as a rogue smuggler. Disney approved. <laughs> you, know, you know that in the new DuckTales, that Donald Duck is going to be a part of the main cast and not just a, like an occasional guest star? Oh, really? Yeah, isn't that neat? Interesting. He's going to be there. He's going to be there every episode. I have he's one of the main cast. I have literally no particular fondness for Ducktales, Rich. I, it's, I cannot be excited it's about it. It's the same <laughs> guy who's been doing the Donald Duck voice for like thirty years. Yep. Walkie-talkie. Uh, I I can't be excited about new Ducktales, Rich. I just can't because uh, I don't care about Ducktales. I'm sorry. I just don't. Uh, I'm really happy for you that you're excited about new DuckTales, but... Alright, let's see what we got here. I don't know. Oh, I don't have a map is what we got here. We got a motorboat and we got a four-seater. Motorboat, four-seater. I see a house that nobody's probably checked back here. So we're going to head in that general direction. That general direction. Rich! Some blue guy in chat says, quick yeah. update. Okay, on what? There is now a post on the RLM subreddit about Rich having made a new wheel. Oh. And it's rising on the sub's front page. Oh. The top comment as of right now is, we are horrible people. Rich yeah, gave um, you... Never sharing anything He gave ever you again. gifts, people. This was my... You know, this is my test. Yeah. The fact that I made a, a new wheel, that's... That's mediocre news. It's not so exciting. Yeah. No, but he... but now I know you're all snitches. <laughs> <sighs> yep. Yep. Never again. You've you've played right into my hands. Well, I mean, I know, know where I know where I stand. Basically, that's it. Now and so now, anytime there's news, we're not going to feel an urge to share it. And that's on you. You could have had all the news. You could have had. You could have been in the know. Yeah, this could have been the little secret club. Yeah, the secret club. Yep. Hey, you know what's going on behind the scene? Nope. Oh. Nope. I'm oh, afraid not. Yeah. Afraid not. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, there's someone fucking around at the boat. That's good. 
there's someone fucking around at the boat. We might go check out that boat situation. See how close we're getting. Oh, we're getting nowhere because nobody's got anything. All right, never mind. I got me a wrench. Wrench doesn't have a lot of reach, but has a, uh, a higher uh, stun chance. The old wrenchy poo here. The Ayatollah of Rock and Rollers is Trek Rant. I hate the overuse of the Klingon Bird of Prey. It was just a Scout class ship, far less badass than the Klingon cruiser and the Romulan warbird in the TN. Sorry, this is the second point. And the Romulan warbird bird in TNG is the coolest Trek ship design. I'll agree. the The Romulan bird of prey, or warbird. Sorry, the Romulan warbird is badass. Mm -hmm. But that that Klingon bird of prey, it's such a beautiful design. I don't, I don't blame them for overusing it. Out of here. Out of here. He's not chasing you. Huh? He's chasing them. Good. I'm go hoping I'm hoping he kills them. Oh, Mr. Team Player with the wrench is not going to go back and try and stun Jason when he grabs someone. Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, I'm out for me. <laughs> I'm hoping he kills them because... Oh. Light, well, your light's on. Like, he knows you're there. He's already turned around. <laughs> I got a pocket knife. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. I got a pocket knife. What? Bye, bitches. <laughs> oh! Get him, Jason. Get him, Jason. <laughs> get him, get him, Jason. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, where is it? Did he leave? He's getting out. What a terrible Jason. What a terrible Jason. Wasn't that, that even the swim fast Jason? Yes. No. He might be. Yes, no, he might be. Eight, eight for sure. Part eight for sure is a fast one. Yeah. I think I think he is too. Well, someone knew where the battery was, so that's something. Ooh, baseball bat. Yoink. A yoink. This is probably something I have already. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh. Maybe it's seven and eight that are the good swimmers. I don't know if it's two or three of them that are fast swimmers. Well, it might be all three. It might be seven, eight, and right, nine. Right, a couple of them have swim faster perks. I think I think all of the undead Jasons are fast in water. Ah, okay, sure, that would make sense. Got any parts? Got any parts? Texas Panhandler says, "I just went and watched the new Ducktales theme and some clips from what I guess is the first episode. Tenant sounds great." But the voices of the nephews feel off to me. Donald sounds perfect, though. Yeah, that's because it's the same Donald it's because been it's Donald for the last Duck, yeah. thirty or possibly forty years. He's, I think, just thirty. It's, he's been a he's been a long time. Yeah. Good but, for David Tennant. Still work. Oh shit! Why are you over here, Jason? Because you're 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 buzzy, and he makes so much fucking noise. He stands out like a fucking f beacon. God damn it. Oh, you're going to try to put me in the fire, but I'll break. Oh, what? What? Yeah, you got a camera fucked. I was almost free, Rich. I was almost free. That's a good oh, kill. That's a good kill. That's a fun kill. I wish you could see it. Yeah, you you went off you went off alone yeah. after your after your team player rant yeah. mm -hmm. with a character who's designed to work good in a team. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I'm so sorry, everyone. I failed you. Three people. Uh, four people left. Well, three people and a 
And a... Uh, and a Tommy. And a t a t oh, my. I was going to call him Billy. That, that, that did not sound right. That did not sound right. Ooh. Hey, Rich. Yeah. While we're hanging out spectating. Yeah. Let's talk about one of the greatest board game experiences I had recently. Okay. Over Father's oh. Day weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a big group of us went up north and had a great time. And, it's you know, these are people who play board games. <laughs> I love you. And uh, we played a game called Captain Sonar. Have you heard of this board game? No. Here's my pitch to you for Cap for how awesome a game Captain Sonar is. Yeah. Do you remember the uh, the Nebula space battle in Wrath of Khan? Yes. Remember how awesome that was? Yes. Two captains who couldn't see each other yeah. battling. That's what Captain Sonar is. <laughs> it's a it's a ta it's a submarine tactics game. Okay. We're this sounds great. And so what it is, it's kind of like Battleship. Where you know you move, you have to move your submarine along a grid, and so does the other team. And there's a partition on the table. Oh, see, and this is the other reason why you don't do the Batman voice is because then you're that jackass that does the Batman voice. Oh. You know what one I want? I don't think it's this, Jason. The one that kicks him away and then throws the axe in his head. Eight. I love that kill. That's a great kill. We'll follow this one. They're not making as much noise. Okay, so. There's a partition on the table, so neither captain can see the other per person's yeah. doohickeys. Then it's your job as captain to move your battleship and kind of be the leader of your team. Yeah. Um, but you need to call out where you're moving, but the other team doesn't know where you start. You both have the same map. Yeah. And so you're going, you, for your turn, you go, we're heading north. And then another person on your team is your radio operator, and it's just their job to try to figure out where the other team's sub is. Like, okay, they, yeah. they started somewhere where they moved north. Okay, okay, well, remember that information. And then it's another person's job to, like, handle all the resources, like, you know, your missiles. It, it takes so many turns to get ready. Your stuff has to break down, and you all kind of work together to hide yourself and figure out where the other team's sub is. Yeah. And it's amazing. It's one, it's, I, it, it was so much fun. We had a group of six, three on each team. And, and, and it's supposed to be real time, actually. Like, you're supposed to go all in real time. Yeah. But we did it turn based because we were learning, and we actually liked turn based a lot better than real time because then you get to, like, really slow oh, down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, is this the right call? And everyone just goes, I don't know. You have to make the call, Captain. You have to make the call. We can use the missiles, but if we use the missiles, right. we have to surface. And then they'll know exactly where we are. Oh. <laughs> uh, Captain Sonar is the game I'm talking about, and it's a phenomenal game. A phenomenal game that will be hopefully showing up on my doorstep soon. I was I was just about to purchase it from myself because we had a great time yeah. playing. It's like this is a game we would all love playing, and then Lisa goes, "Don't! I haven't bought you a Father's Day present yet." And she just <laughs> went on her phone and bought it. And I was like, "Was this Father's Day weekend?" Yeah. I was like, "That doesn't count as a present." She's like, "Nope, I bought it before you. It's a Father's Day present." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and I, that's what I said. I said that doesn't count. Oh, check. That doesn't count as a Father's Day present. Oh, check. She, yeah, no, later later on, she gave me uh, the best Father's Day present, which was she agreed to drive home from up north so I could oh. day drink. Because <laughs> we, we were still doing stuff for the Sunday morning, and I was like, I was like, you know, but I usually drive. That's that's nice. And we had some beer left, so I was like, eh, hon, do you mind driving home? And, you know, it's a few-hour drive. And, and she was like, I'll drive home so you can day drink. And I said, Great. Great. What up, America? Oh, I should hit ready. Uh, so, yeah. No, you shouldn't. Huh? Now you're starting with uh, six people. Eh, more people might join. All right. Anonymous says, Jack, mm. you mm. wake up late at night to a phone call. Someone's kidnapped Rich. They say if you don't pirate every They Might Be Giants album and give it to them, they'll send Rich in pieces 
What do you do? Well, why do I have to pirate it? I, I already own every They Might Be Giants album, so I could just give them a copy of the my, ones my I My fucking own. life is on the line here, Jack. Uh, yeah, yeah. You want me to go to jail for your life? Okay, yeah, I guess that's fair. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I mean, like, it's Rich's life, of course, right, but... Uh, but also, here's the thing. Yeah. You should never negotiate with terrorists. No, you just give into their demands and save my life. <laughs> but that just encourages them and others to do the same, Rich. To someone else, yes. Yes. <laughs> and we have no guarantee of your safety. How do we have any guarantee of your safety? <laughs> right? <laughs> I am so... I am so... So t taking over these group of kidnappers, I'm, I'm going to become their leader and we're coming for you. That's what we're doing. Why? Because I stick close to my principles? You're welcome. Did else get away? Oh, the big house. I don't know. Oh, no car. No car. He might not come here. He might not. Unless the phone box is there. Then right. You're fine. Bilbo San says, Jack, Jack, how did you start freelancing? How did you self-promote and did you have your own gear? Uh, at first, I did not have my own gear. Uh, at first, uh, I, we, uh, me and the, the people I was making stuff with, uh, we rented. We rented gear. There, There's a, a local place here in Milwaukee, and you know, they had reasonable rates, and they were pretty... You know, I mean, and I, you know, actually, like, for, at first, first, you know, we just shot on our own janky-ass camera. But then by the time, it, by when it came time to make real stuff, we rented our camera equipment. And that worked for... I've seen people miss a battery behind the mattress in this room. It's like lying on the ground. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I, oh, yeah, no, sometimes those batteries can be... We spent half the game looking for a battery, and when I was spectating, I watched somebody walk in this room and then leave. And I, but I was spectating. I saw it there. I'm like, wait, no, there it is. There it is. <laughs> but you can't tell them. No. Yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be careful, cause and you know, like in your head, you're like, okay, I'm looking for a gas can, but yeah, sometimes you see like you're looking for that thing, and you, you see a house, like, oh, this has already been checked. There's drawers open. Oh yeah. You can't trust people to be good at searching shit, though. Oh well, and you know, especially this early in the game, even if something's searched, like they might have, they might already have a map, but you don't, so you just gotta go in. A number of times, I've been like, oh, they just walked right past the gas can, or here's an entire fucking dresser they didn't search. Right. Oh, here are the car keys. Right. Yep. <gasps> Shit. Oh my god. Well, we get to hear that great music. What's your plan? Huh? What's your plan? Okay, I see him on the map now. I'm gonna see if he thinks I'm here. Yep. Shit, now it's dark. Well, I gotta jump out a window. Damn it. Oh, wait, no, I got a pocket knife. It's fine. Suck it, Jason. Oh, it's so dark in here now. If only I had a flashlight! Yep. Um, Bobo San went on to say, Rich, thanks for the Farscape recommendation. And did that laugh ever get you in trouble? I wouldn't say it got me in trouble. It's annoyed people, but I don't care. I like laughing. Where you going, bro? I have no plan. That's why, that's why you don't use Buzzy unless you have a group you're working with. Oh, damn it. He's got me. He does. Well, I can, hopefully I can just distract him long enough so other people can do something. Oh, oh! Sneaky bastard. Oh, the lame kill. That's the worst kill. Lame. That's the worst kill. Ugh, I had no, I had no plan, and I didn't have any resources beyond my pocket knife. Uh, okay, so freelancing, Rich. Yeah, yeah. So we started off renting, uh, and and that that got me through a couple jobs. Uh huh. That got me through maybe a dozen jobs. You know, because what I, oh, oh, okay. 
Because what I would do is I would line up my shoots, you know, and I'd say, okay, I'll just shoot four, you know, like, okay, I got this job, I got this job, I got this job, I got this job. I got four shoots I need to do. That's going, I'm going to do those four shoots in three days. All right. And so I will rent that camera for three days, export all of my footage, uh, and, and, you know, return the camera. And that, that lasted me for a while. Uh, then, uh, we, uh, I, I, we, I got incredibly lucky. Oh, God damn it. It's so dark. We got incredibly fortunate with, uh, with a bigger job, uh, with a client. Uh, we got, we got really, really lucky with a bigger job and I was able to take that money and buy a nice camera and that rolled into more jobs. All right. And more stuff. And, you know, as far as self-promotion, that's always that's always going to be tricky. Oh, he's way over there. What do they got? Two-seat car. Ugh. Kind of ready. Right. It's not looking good. No, it's not. It's not looking good at all. Well, then there's plan B. What? Find a female, go for a kill. Find the shack. All right. You know what? There's a big empty space over by the graveyard. Let's have, go ahead and check out that I'll graveyard. I'll tell you one of the spots that spawns is by the graveyard. Oh, well, I'm... I'm well, gonna... mood point until you got a female counselor who can put on the sweater. Sure, but I'll just go scope it out while he's killing other people. Uh, here's the graveyard. Um, okay, so self-promotion. This is really, really tricky. And I... Usually err on the side of not doing it. Check south of the graveyard. You see the the trail, the little trails on the map mm -hmm. behind you, Ashley. Oh no, I'm just looking around. I'm just seeing. I just got a health spray. Okay. Rich. All right. Oh, just, that's fine. I'm exploring that's fine. the I'm graveyard. I'm not trying to be a jerk. Just. I'm exploring the graveyard to see if there's anything in here, like a stick. I can't use a stick. Like a stick. I can't use a stick. You could, but it would just be dumb. I mean, I have a shotgun. Kind of like on the right. Sure, yeah. Oh, and there it is. There it is. Okay, so now... There's no point for you to go in there. Oh, now. no, I know. I'm not going in there. Okay, there's a person down by this car. So we'll go We'll go check on them. We'll go see what they're up to. Uh, Walkie-talkie, I found Jason's shack. It's to the uh, south of the graveyard if we want to go uh, for a Jason kill. Shane. PC Wait, says. not done yet. We're still talking about self-promotion. Oh. I'm sorry. I keep getting distracted because I'm playing yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, generally speaking, and I think Rich will agree with me on this, uh, self-promotion is usually... Uh, usually comes across negatively. Shoot him. Shoot him while he's chopping out the door. you got range in that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, sucker. There's another person over here. Yep. Great. Shit. Come over here. Nope. He's messing with someone else. He's messing with someone else. I'm going inside that house to kill them. Huh? Well, I. you know what? I gave him some extra time. That's all I could do. Use my shotgun too. I could have used that to save me. Nah, trap strats. Uh, Shane PC says. Wait, we're, I, I thought you were gonna help me out with the self promotion thing. Oh wait, what, what? What? How am I gonna help you out? What am I supposed to do? Uh, you're supposed to agree with me that self promotion is generally frowned upon. Uh, yeah. Uh, you never want to be the person to say how good you are at the thing you are doing because it will always come across... Like you're a jackass? Like you're a jackass. That person's running to the shack. They've probably already got the mask off and you're doing you're doing nothing. You think? You're, yeah. yeah. Oh, well then. No, they're not running to oh, the shack. Oh, they're dead. They're dead because you weren't helping them. I shot Jason! I helped all the time. 
I helped all the time, and they. It, you, what, what did they do for me? They died. Uh, so you come across as a jackass. The oh, oh hello. You want Max. that? Yeah. The best thing you can do to grow your business is to do good work at reasonable prices, and then. Uh, you have to trust a little bit in word of mouth. And y you know what? There's a difference between telling people what you do in self-promotion. How close are we to that car? Ah, just gas and a key, huh? Anybody dead around here? Anybody yeah, that person who died up north. Yeah, we'll go check them out, see what they have. <laughs> then we can get out of here in the old, uh, the old, uh, four-seater. Uh, so, when you are growing your business... What one did they die in? Not, not this one. This one. Uh, somewhere up there. I don't know if they were... Oh, this one. There's the one. In died. or near that house. They probably ran out of the house before they got murdered. Well, I'll just double check in here. See if there's any gas. See if there's anything that we can use. Nope, we already have a walkie-talkie. Uh, so, yeah, you can do good work. And if you do good work... Uh, hopefully it rolls into itself. Try not to self-promote too much. That is the end of the self-promotion talk. Now, we may move on. Okay. Oh, was that it? Nope. That's a basket. Where did they die? Um, Shane PC says, Rich, hearing you so excited about DuckTales make me think you might like a show called Gravity Falls. I know you get recommended shit all the time, but this show is similar in tone and very, very good. Oh, I've heard about it. You should give that show a shot at some point. I think I've seen an episode of Gravity Falls or two, but I have kids, so, you know, all the cartoons start to blur. Where is that dead body? They ran north. They probably ran to the, the shack thinking you'd be there to help them kill Jason. I think. That's my guess. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> you had made that big announcement. I did. <laughs> And then you're you're digging around that house, yeah, you know, looking for I don't know what. Just something. I I don't have anything. I have a health <laughs> spray, Rich. I, that's all I have. I have nothing. You have an axe and a dream. That's that's all I'm going on right now. Where is this person? Oh, there we go. There's a dead body. Hey. I wasn't a female counselor anyway. Is, oh. is that? A a person? Ooh, all sorts of stuff. Are those keys? Yeah, this is why. Yeah, this is why you look for dead bodies. And another health spray. The bodies were fine. Okay, now we just need some gas. Radio, ga radio, and I have keys, and we need gas. I have keys. The four seater just needs gas. Is anybody else alive? There's one other person alive. You should go to them. Okay. Go, Tommy Jarvis, go! Uh, Optimus, no. Wait. Hey. Optimus, no! Says, have you guys seen Batman and Bill? The new documentary about the quest to have Bill Finger recognized as co-creator of Batman? It's available on Hulu and Netflix right now. Thanks. Oh, that sounds like a great documentary. Uh, yeah, no, it does sound like a great documentary. I've not heard of it. Though I am familiar with Bill Finger and his contributions. He basically created Batman. Right. I remember the stories. Okay, we have nobody left and no gas. It's like Bill Kane was drawing something stupid, like a red helmet. And Bill Finger walked by, like, well, you do something like a bat. And he, like, drew, you give him little ears and this cape. It's got these little bat wing like things in the bottom. He basically just designed Batman just on, like, a whim to sure. be nice. And then, then, um, Bill, uh, what's his name? Bob Kane, Bob Kane. Took, took all of the credit and all of the fortune. Oh. And then when, um, uh, the Superman creators, J uh, Joe Schuster, Schuster, and, Schuster and, um, Joe what was the other one? Joel Schuster and. Campbell? She was no. from Campbell? No. Ah, I can't think of his name. Um, anyway, when they were trying to sue DC for, like, the rights. Yeah. When, you know, like, DC created Superboy against their will. Uh, instead of, like, allying with them, Bob Kane just cut some kind of, like, separate deal with DC. And that's that's why he eternally gets credit. You know, Bob Kane, creator of Batman over yeah. everything Batman-related. Oh, man, what a dick. 
It's like, Bob, Bob Kane, we need your help. And Bob Kane's just like, fuck y'all. Oh. Fuck y'all. Have we figured out the other last name yet? Jerry Schuster. Siegel. Thank you, Chad. Schuster and Siegel. Schuster and Siegel. Are you it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been it yeah, for a while. Yeah. And so I don't even know. I'm, I'm floundering. Shit. Where are you at? All right. All right. All right, motherfucker. Let's do this. Oh, what? I was mid-swing. Oh. That J Jason has a reach that is approximately four inches longer than you think it's going to be. I, yeah. I hate it. I think it's ping is a big factor in that, though. Oh, yeah? yeah. Probably. You're probably right. It can seem worse than it is if you've got a shitty ping and he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mommy has a reward for you. Come home, sweetie. See, I want, yeah, I want him to be purple and blue in this, too. That'd be funny. That'd be funny. Do, 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 do. Rich Jager says, Rich, somebody kidnaps Jack and tells you to choose an animal that you would like to become or he dies. What animal do you choose? LOL, Ruchaj, Mojigo, Ku something. Uh, human. I would choose human. Candy for Crows says, Hey, guys. Humans are animals. Here's $2 for the Send Prereq to E3 2018 fund. Nothing seems funnier than hearing Rich scream, Oh my god! During every Microsoft exclusive video. Keep up the great work! Eh. We don't, you don't, you don't need to. We don't need to. We won't. I, w I wouldn't want to. I don't like large crowds of people. I'm not a big fan of large crowds of people. And I don't want to sit through those boring ass conferences. Right? Just so I can hear what the shit they're releasing is. Hello. Right. Right. The shadow is greater than Batman. In theory, the shadow is greater than Batman. I'd love to see. I'd love to see a proper the shadow film. Yeah. I'd love that. I think. I think the sh The shadow. You. You give a a, a director with a, a strong stylistic sense a shadow story. That would be yeah. cool as fuck. Just like a gritty detective, but with some mystical shit happening. Yeah. That'd be awesome. I want that. I want it bad. They did oh. that. It was called Darkwing Duck. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't think that was gritty, a movie. <laughs> Can you wait? You're, you're excited for the gritty Darkwing Duck? CGI yeah. movie. Absolutely. He's going to team up with the gritty Howard the Duck. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be directed by James Gunn, and everyone will love it inexplicably. Oh, Darkwing. I know. I watched Darkwing Duck. That was fine. I was fine with Darkwing Duck. I, again, have no, like, there. there's no, like, there's no hate for Darkwing Duck, but it was just like, yeah, it was fine. It was a fun show. I remember. There is now no good reason that Howard the Duck can't appear in the new DuckTales show. They're all owned by Disney now. Yes. They yes. should totally have Howard the Duck appear in DuckTales. Absolutely. <laughs> and have him, have him like show up with a dimensional portal thing so it will be the same Howard the Duck. He could officially be from the Disney universe. That could be where yeah. he comes from now, yes. Yeah. He could be like he could like teleport in from the MCU. No, no, be the other way around. That's how he gets to the MCU. It can happen in an episode of DuckTales. <laughs> All right, I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> Look at this outfit. That's a great outfit. Survive. See what can happen here. Let's see what we can make happen here. What do we got? What do we got? We got a fat load of nothing so far. Nothing on the shelf. I'm kind of near a car, but I should be far enough away where Jason's not going to sniff around. How should I respond to that? The anonymous? No, the the that one, the Garga. Ah, oh, come on, guy. 
guys? I don't know. Come on. I don't know, man. Sometimes. Sometimes. Walkie talkie. Anonymous says, guys, what did you think of Wonder Woman and the lack of a superhero theme during the No Man's Land scene? Do you agree that it needed a Superman type theme like John Williams would have written? No, it didn't. No, no it didn't. That that was, action sequence was wonderful just the way it is. It was a fine scene. It was a fine movie. You've seen Wonder Woman. Yeah. Now. We could talk about yeah, Wonder Woman. I don't have I don't have that much to say. It was just a fine movie. It's fine. It's a fine movie. <laughs> That's the thing to say about it. You go, oh, it's a fine movie. I, ju I just checked. I find something. I find one thing about it really, really interesting. Okay. In the DC Cinematic Universe now, okay. Christianity uh -huh. is definitively false, and the one and true correct religion is Greek mythology and Zeus. That is incredibly true. Zeus who created humanities, and Ares who we saw on screen. We saw, we actually saw one of these gods on screen. Yep. yep. This is not myth. Yep. That is uh, incredibly true, Rich, and I think in it's hilarious. Every movie you see in the DCCU, Jesus is false. <laughs> for all of yep. for all of Zack Snyder's Jesus imagery, <laughs> Jesus is false in the DC extended cinematic universe. That's very true. That is very very true. I think that's great. Could it be that Zeus created Jesus? <laughs> just, you know, I'm just, I'm spitballing here, Rich. I'm spitballing. I suppose that's possible, yes. Okay. Mad trap strats. I think that's great. But yeah, no, No Man's, no man's Land, uh, which is the action scene I've referred to as the greatest action sequence in any DC movie. There's four of them, and three of them are terrible. Yeah. This is such a low bar. It's, oh, it's fun. Well, also, no, also better. Uh, I'll put that better, than, uh, better action sequence than anything in Doctor Strange, anything in Ant-Man. I haven't seen either of those, oh, so okay. I can't compare. Ooh, map. Uh... It, uh, fuck, it's a fantastic action sequence. It was an action sequence that why, when it was over, I said, Hi, fuck yes. Ooh, guess. I got the bat, but I got this Jason on you. We got some gas. I got the battery. What, what car are you at? I'm currently going to the floor seater with Jason hot on my tail. Oh yeah, I see that. You're you're just passing us. Yeah. He really wants it. Jason, you're a bitch. Well, I guess we're going to the four seater. I'm gonna show everyone how much of a bitch you are. <laughs> Might take the take the backwards way over here. Do what you you do you, Jack. Anonymous says, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, DuckTales, Star Wars, AIDS, 9-11, Rich has diabetes, Mike is an alcoholic, yeah, I hate Jack Gurr. Yeah. What happened to girl? At least you get money for tips, LOL. Yeah, well, that's all true. None of these Jasons believe in traps. What, what is that? What? <laughs> Shit. Did you fucks get some gas yet? You can leave, I got your keys. Gas is in. Yeah. All right. One of you. One of you has to put the battery in since I am black. <laughs> Battery's right over here. Yo, we gotta stun. You gotta stun. What do you want? I, I gotta run away from Jason. Right. You gotta now. drop the firecrackers in front of the car and put the battery in while the firecrackers are active. You even have the firecracker perk. Oh I shit! That's right. My character does not do that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sneak around so Jason won't know I'm coming. Rich. I was panicked. Put in. I was panicked. Put in, put in, put in. <laughs> or not. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy is shit! Cancer? Is that a dead one? Oh no, Tiffany's doing it. Drop the firecrackers. Drop the firecrackers. 
Put the battery in. Who has the keys? Did Tiffany have the keys? Yep, Tiffany had the keys. Nope. Hell's brave. Running away. Run! Do you have a what? Get in that car! Get in that car! Get in that car! I don't have the key! Oh, fuck you. Who has the key? Oh, there we go, there we go. What are you going there for? I don't know where Jason is. I'm out of here. Okay, there we go, there we go. Go, 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 go! We got everyone, go! <laughs> Where's Jason? Go. He's waiting. He's gonna meet you somewhere along the way. Go, 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 go! Oh! That was so close. Did you see him? He was yeah. right on the side of the car. Stay straight on this road. Uh, either way. Huh? At, the, at the main road, it's right or left. It's about the same either way. Yep. Wait, let me go pick up that stick right there. No. Stop the car. <laughs> the stick is right there. <laughs> just hit, run him over. If you're going real slow, it just runs him over. You you give very bad advice, and I almost think you're doing it on purpose. Almost. Why are they going what? forward? Because Jason fucked up. What the fuck was Jason doing? Fucking up. Totally. Oh, Jason totally fucked up. Wait, stop the car. I have to help the rest. <laughs> stop the car. <laughs> They chose wrong. Okay, here we go. I don't have a weapon. I will be absolutely no help if we stop. Can you back There's up through this? You gotta pick him up. Where is he? I don't know. I can't look behind me. It's really upsetting. I know you can't. I know you can't. Jason is in front of Jason us. Jason is incompetent at stopping stop. cars. They do. This is happening. This is happening. We are going to back up all the way there. I've never done this before. Is this happening? Is this happening? What happens if you back up into Jason? He, your car stops. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's the classic reverse exit right there. <laughs> the classic. That worked. Uh, hey, whatever works. Totally worked. Yep. Try looking behind you. I, I pressed the look behind me button, and it did not <laughs> It did not work. I, I did try looking behind you. Do you know once you hit the exit, once you're no longer in control, the car tries to turn itself around? Yeah. I saw it. I just yeah, saw it. Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite things to do, uh, it's, it's a really fun camera glitch, is right after someone exits, uh, click away from them if you're spectating, and then click right back, and you can actually spectate them past the boundary lines, and the yeah, world yeah, gets yeah. all glitchy. I love it. Yeah. My favorite is on the boat, because then eventually, like, the boat hits ground, <laughs> and, like, just keeps going. I was under the ground when I did that with the boat. Once. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I had a really great one where eventually the boat disappeared, but um, Tommy Jarvis didn't, so Tommy was, like just looked like he was in an invisible boat. It was great. It was great. Uh, no Man's Land. Wonder Woman. Fantastic action sequence. You know, you know what, I, what I liked the most about that action sequence? What? And I think this is super important to all superhero movies is the hero part of it. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think, you know, for, for a bunch of movies... Uh, Guardians included, there is uh, there's a lack of just the hero doing something like heroic, right? Okay, okay. And so like that sequence was really great because they spent the whole movie. Diana was kind of being told where to go, right? Like, like oh, you got to go here, you got to do this, you got to do this. And she's like, but I want to go to where I can help the people. And they're like, ah, you got to go here and do this. And finally, she was like, uh, uh, girlfriend, and she did her own thing, right? To, to be fair, yeah. uh, 
Steve Trevor? Steve? Chris, Chris Pine? Yeah. He was trying to help people. Of course he was. But he's not used to superpowers. <laughs> and for him, the best way to do that was to destroy the mustard gas plant. Of course. No, and like, of course, he was going, he's like, we can save 10 people or we could save 100,000. Wonder Woman was like, no, I'm going to save them all. But that was. That was good. That was good. And well, and, you know. What are they doing here? Um, oh, right. probably just gave up. Yeah. Well, and you know what? That's the other thing I really liked about No Man's Land is it was also, not only was it an act. Oh, I love it when the bodies fly. Basically, Superman did what Superman, Wonder Woman did what Superman should have done. Yes. In the movies. Exactly. <laughs> but, like, it was also a character moment. It was a character moment through an action sequence, which oh, made it now, so much better. Yeah, she was a better Superman than any of the Superman we've had in yeah. in the DCU so yeah. far. Yeah. <laughs> Except, I mean, like she was around and fighting during World War II, so like you kind of dropped the ball on that one, Wonder Woman. She, I mean, she <laughs> for th thematically, yeah. for you know the the kind of morally the, the gray view of humanity and war that they were oh, taking yeah, the for good and film. bad in war yeah they, yeah they could not use world war ii <laughs> i know i they know. could not well you know the germans they're just trying to uh, uh well yeah uh, um yeah no they're evil yeah no they're not um, and they're evil <laughs> they're evil and we need to stop them but Okay, so here's the question. So Wonder Woman originated during World War II, right? Right. And she was she left. A little bit, a little bit, was. I don't think the U.S. was in it yet. It was like late '30s, wasn't Wonder Woman? I think I think we were in it Cause, because the whole the whole reason. No, why that's she, the, okay. She might have. She been was there. wearing the stars and stripe because she left Themyscira to help the great nation of America against the evil Germans, <laughs> right? And so how many meetings do you think needed to be had before they agreed that it shouldn't be World War II? How many meetings are you like, well... I, no, I think they got as far as the story. Huh? They got as far as the story, because the story would not work with World War II. <laughs> sure, I sure. don't. I don't think that this is a cynical, we don't want to seem too much like Captain America. The whole point was these people are all fighting each other, and they're basically fighting each other over nothing, right, which is right. World War I. Uh -huh. And this war is just... Really fucking stupid. Why is this happening? You know, that, that's thematically what is going on in this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're talking about this murky gray area. Like, well, sure. Americans weren't so great either. Look what they did in the end. You know, who's, they're, yeah. they're all the bad guys. Everybody's bad guys. Yeah. You can't do that with World War II. There are clear, well-defined <laughs> bad guys oh, sure. in World War II. No, but I, what, I'm, what I'm saying is as uh, whoever wrote the movie was, was pitching, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, how many times do you think they're like, well, but you know, her character came from World War II. Can't we do a World War II thing? Like, how many, how many times they're like, well, we have this idea. We have this idea for a story about, you know, the the gray area of war, and you can't really do that with World War II. <laughs> uh, I get it. I get it. Y yes, the end boss battle of Wonder Woman was lame. Agreed. But I would say no lamer than any of the early Marvel movies. And less lame than Batman v Superman or Suicide Squad or Batman. Oh. I wasted my Jason on Pixel Jason with the no traps. It's got three fucking traps. <laughs> that, Jason's got, that Jason's got five. Does he? Yeah. Oh. Most of them have five. Like, one of them has three. I felt like I only had three. But I could have been wrong. I'm just used to... I'm used to... Uh, yeah. Baghead. Baghead with all the traps. I love my traps. Bilbo Sands says... Bilbo Sands! Weird request. Okay. Could you both say... Could you both just say... Hey, Bill, this is a clip for your video diary at the same time to camera. Would really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel about this? Uh, sure. Hey, hey Bill, Bill, this, this is, is a, a clip, clip for your video for your diary. Video diary. You were completely off sync. Yeah, uh, purposefully. <laughs> uh, Rich, it was a stylistic choice. I know, I know. And I'm 
I'm sticking by that. I, I brought it up after that because I thought that added some sure. humor to it. I okay, great. Maybe wrong. Oh, great. No, yeah, I like it. Anonymouses! St st wait. They tip twice the same thing? Or did I just miss one at some point? Uh, both are possible. You know, I read that earlier. Anonymous says Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, DuckTales, Star Wars, AIDS, 9-11, Rich has diabetes, Mike's an alcoholic, I hate Jack, Grr, what happened to girl, at least you get money for tips, LOL. And I know I read that before, I don't know if they tipped it twice, but it's at the top of my tip list. So I read it. Jason, be around here. No. Oh, Jason, be real close, apparently. Wonder Woman loves Steve Trevor after four days. That's every action movie love interest. Every single one. Male, female, otherwise. Also, she's more upset at that by the end of the movie than the dead general who effectively raised her. Her other mother, if you want to read into the lesbian subtext. Ooh, battery. She's more upset about Steve? Yeah. Uh, then she is about somebody who was effectively one of her parents. It's hard or, to, or at least as say. upset. Well, you know what? It's That's hard to say, like, in context, because, like, also, like, there was so much other shit going on. Oh, I don't have a map yet. Yeah, there's a four-seater around here somewhere. Like, you know, also, like, after the... Uh, the stepmom died like she her whole world just exploded right mm -hmm. after after robin wright died like she like she just learned about this other world she learned about a war she learned about everything so it's like it's hard to say where her mind would be at that point i i did miss a tip from earlier uh as far as her falling in love with steve also the first man she saw happened to be fucking chris pine i'd fall in love look at that Okay, here's the thing, Rich. You've never seen a man before. Oh, shit. Jason's there. Jason. Uh, you know what? If I've never seen a man before, the first time I see a man, I'm going to be very disappointed. Let me let me go back to these women. Well, yeah, you. If you yeah, you. <laughs> All right. You know what? Touche. Touche. Look, if I were Wonder Woman, yeah. I would be the biggest lesbian. <laughs> the, the biggest lesbian. Yeah. On a place called Paradise Island, filled with women. Filled with yes, yeah, yeah. And in fact, she makes a little she makes a little uh, lesbian joke, <laughs> which I thought was adorable. I missed that. Oh yeah, yeah. That, no, I remember that now. Men aren't needed. Men uh, men aren't needed. Uh, men are only needed for reproduction. Well, there's the other thing. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, I no, I guess here's what I'm saying as far as her falling in love with Chris Pine is concerned. She sees Chris Pine in the full nude, looking fine as hell. Then she goes to England and sees all the normal-looking dudes, and she's like, all right, I got, you know what? I won the lottery. <laughs> this ripped-ass motherfucker, this fine-ass <laughs> motherfucker floated on my island. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need anyone else. Who else is she going to find? Chris Hemsworth is not in that universe. Chris Hemsworth ain't coming there. And the main characters of the story fall in love. That's just movies. Yeah, get over that's it. every every movie ever made. Oh, God, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. The, the Blue Prism said, hey, guys, Jack and Rich, what techniques Shit. do you use to manage stress when facing a large workload and many different projects? Thanks for the good times, as always. I don't have any techniques. I just have a lot of stress in my life. It's miserable. It's fucking miserable. I don't know where I'm going. You have to let me know. Left. Head north, young man. Left? Left. I think you have room for one more, Jack. Yeah. Are you a hero? Yeah, I'm a hero. I'm a hero. I'm a hero. I'm a hero. <laughs> <laughs> whoa
Well, way to take the wind out of my sails. I thought I was doing pretty good. <laughs> Sorry. How, how do you deal with stress when facing a large pro project? A large workload and many different projects. Yeah, yeah, that's a tough question. I don't know that I do deal with stress. It just eats at me. It's yeah. probably horrible for my health. Well, yeah. <laughs> you Like, usually what I'll do is I'll ignore other areas of my life. I'll start eating like shit. Uh -huh. I'll, I won't sleep nearly as much as I should. <laughs> You'll know it's really bad when, like, if, if my hair and my beard ever get really, really grown out. Like, it's just like, fuck it. I don't have the 20 minutes it takes to shave. Um... But but that's that's not it's not they're not saying how do we respond to stress they're asking asking us how we get over stress right you finish what you're working on that's the only <laughs> thing you can do is get you have to keep working and get a little bit of it done you would be surprised what a little twenty minutes of quiet time would do you though here's what I will say uh, like I'm not a meditate kind of guy I'm not I'm not saying like you should meditate but just take twenty minutes in a chair with your eyes closed and don't listen to anything. Like don't listen to music. Don't have the TV on the background and just clear your mind for like 20 minutes. You will get back to work super refreshed and like raring to go. But uh, uh, take that momentum, like get a small thing done. Hey, I just finished a thing. Now I can do another thing, another thing, another thing, another thing. So you can do it. Okay. You can do it. We believe in you. See, a lot of people stop to watch The Best of the Worst, based uh, on the comments. A new Best I'm of the Worst just came out? Uh, yeah. The oh. new Select series, or whatever we're calling oh. it. Oh. We did Hollywood Cop. Yeah, yeah. Just Hollywood Cop. Interesting. We've been talking about this for a while. If people, if people know that it's out now, we've been talking it, it about doing it. It came out during the stream. Oh, come on. Are you shocked? Are you shocked? Just, you know, they don't give a shit Jay, about this. They don't give no Mike, fucks. Just, they don't give no fucks. A couple hours is all we're asking for. Just a couple hours. <laughs> a couple hours a week. Gosh darn it. No, see, it's Jack Trigger Joyce is not even as mean as Mike or Jay fucking with us. It's us not being on their radar. It's worse than the, it's worse than them fucking with us. <laughs> Oh, well. Yeah, so select series where, oh, you know. Are, are you done? Oh, I'm out. I mean, I'm out. They, they only oh, have okay. a little bit left. So, Just, I, you know what? I like finishing the matches. You get that XP, man. I know it doesn't matter for you because you're level 8,000 already. I'm close to 50. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, what are we on here? Whiskers Cuddle says, if I donated 10 grand, would Jack remake Hey Hey He He dressed as a clown? If you donated $10,000. Yes. You would want me to remake... Okay. Does everything need to be remade, including the song? That's the question. And no matter what, uh, the answer is yes. Absolutely, that would be so easy to do for ten thousand. So there is no question. The answer is just yes. But well, I guess I'll need. To, I'll just need some more feedback. Like, do you want? You know, do you want me to to make the to remake the song, or is it just the video using the old song? Uh, yeah, no, for ten grand, that'd be. That's. I mean, duh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's a really easy question. Crimesy says, every day ends with a Tums Festival. What is that? It's from the, the, the Best of the Worst. It's from Hollywood Cop. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Riot Cruises. Thanks for the solo Witcher stream, Jack. Watched it while in hospital. It was my 36th month anniversary, but I was pre-fire cracked one month early by Rich for having cancer. That's right. Thanks, Rich. You're welcome. <laughs> I was a, you know what I, yeah I was I was having a, I was having a good time playing the Witcher. Uh, funny Kanju, someone uh, wanted to know if they paid me ten thousand dollars if I would remake an old video that people like to point out uh, that is bad, uh, yeah. even though I still enjoy it. I still 
uh, like the hey hey he he I make poo poo NPP song. I think it's funny. All right. I think it's silly. Uh, but someone was asking if I would remake it dressed as a clown, and of course the answer is yes. But you know, then like there's just so many questions where it's like, do I do I have to remake every single shot? You know, yes. like every for ten single... grand for ten grand, yes. Let's assume. Oh well, well let's no. assume you have to go all out for ten grand. Well, yes. I, like you know, like is this is this a shot for shot? You know, there's a lot of effects in it, right? There's a lot of green screen. So is this a shot-for-shot shot remake, or do I get to make a new interpretation? Well, that's, I think that's up to you. They're not paying. The they're, they didn't say they were paying for editorial control. They that's just said, true. They just they said had one remake. single request. To remake it, right. Riot Crew also says, Also, did you guys receive the card game Star Realms that I sent? Just checking to see that you got it. Oh, I did. Yeah. I did get that. That is on my board game shelf. Uh, whenever we have board game night, it is an option. Okay. Red Letter Medea says, Hey, Rich, <laughs> or other man? I guess that's me. <laughs> what would have been your ideal story for a Ghostbusters 3, aside from there shouldn't have been one at all? Because that's a lazy style of answer you guys fall back on commonly. That's the only answer I have. Ghostbusters is a perfect movie. It did not need more expansion. It worked because of who was in it, the performances they gave, and an idea that at the time was novel. Right. Like, it started going south at Ghostbusters 2. Yes. <laughs> that's not a lazy answer. That's an honest one. Right. That's my honest opinion. Mm -hmm. I have been against the idea of a Ghostbusters 3 since forever. Since forever. Every time Dan Aykroyd used to bring it up. Yeah, yeah. And they were they were going to be the mentor starting a new generation. I said, "Don't. Why would you do that? It's 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 going to be worse, worse. No matter what you do, yeah, it's not going to be worth it." Yeah, yeah. And you like like I said like like everyone says, you saw that immediately when the same group of people got back together and couldn't quite <laughs> reignite the right. farm, even though it was the same group right. of people. Right. <laughs> So that's not a dodge. That's just my opinion. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, jo Jordana. Rich, what if it was in the 90s and Bill Murray was into it too? They did it with Ghostbusters 2, which arguably is uh, not as good a movie as Ghostbusters. Also, the heart of the story in Ghostbusters is people starting a business. Right. It's not about the, the ancient demon wants to take over the earth plot. That's like a, that's like a side story. Right. <laughs> right. It's about them creating a successful business. They've, <laughs> they've already done that. I don't care. Well, I think the king of the underrealm in the part three should look for the ancient tome of knowledge and they have to fight. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. No. It could be me. It could be me. It's Baghead. Oh, yes! Baghead! Two Jasons in one night, Rich! This is like... Make this is like... This is crazy. Make them suffer. Okay. Okay, mommy. I will make them suffer. That's great. I got a little bucket over there. Buckets are important. I wonder if the, the tapes are in here. Like if someone needs to go into Jason's shack to find the tapes. Baghead Jason, go to the phone. Hello. Oh, there's someone in the house, too. Hello. I'm here. Someone just locked that door. Yeah. As I was about Shit to. happens, Jack. Shit happens. Anonymous says, Dear Rich and Jack, thank you for giving me an excuse to kick my friend out of my house whenever you guys go live. You truly are the true bros. Keep up the great work, P.S. Hi, cat. Thank you. Why are you kicking people out of your house when we show up? I don't get it. What happened? He said he, said he kicked someone out of the house whenever we showed up. Hello. I don't have my sense yet, or my shift. But I see you here, and I'm going to chase you down. Where'd you go? Look at the, the running. They were down that hill, I thought, but I could be wrong. 
Use your sense again. Don't have it yet. Don't you do now. Where's uh, Oh, wow. You got far away. I don't think that's you. That's a Vanessa. Vanessa's get far away. Vanessa's get far away. Oh, hey, the car. Thanks for leading me to the car. Yoink trap. Yoink trap. Oh, I, I put that way too far away from the gas can. And trapped. Oh, the door's open. Silly. Silly. Oh, that door hardly matters. Huh? That door hardly matters. Oh, I know, but... <clears throat> I still left it open. Is someone in here anymore? Bunny boyfriend says, Hey, Rich, when are you finally going to shave your head? I think it would really suit you. Also, can we expect a Rich Thief solo stream, or have you already done one? I've already done one. And, uh, for one thing, I don't think the shaved head would suit me. My head is too round. I would look too much like Charlie Brown. For another thing, I can't do that with Jack having a bald head. We would be two bald men, and as I've said before, it would look like we were in some kind of cult together. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we could we could never do a show where two bald men... Oh. I'm going to get distracted. I'm getting too distracted. Come in, hurry. Oh, you dick. Get up, Jason. Beluga Blues 359 says, Hello from Alaska again. Hi. Finally catching a stream after my first year at Central Washington as a music ed major. And you guys can play whatever games you want. It's not the games you play, it's you guys. Well, thank you! Thank you very much! Oh! What? Oh, we got a pocket knife. Where'd you go? You can never die. I can never die. Red Letter Medea. Hello, Rich, and Bad Eyesight Rich. Do, oh. you, do you have any opinions on Simon Pegg's anti-geek culture rant from a few months ago? I haven't heard the rant. I would likely agree with it. What are you doing? M. Driven KH says, Rich, did Fred Levine call you back and help you land the plane? Have you ever heard back from your crank calls? No, because these people probably... Well, obviously, it's a, it's a prank, and it's an obvious prank in both cases. And secondly, uh, whatever whoever has the number now, it's probably not... Wait, was the Fred Levine the same, Fred Levine the same people or not? I think one of them was the same people. Anyway, I've never heard back from them. This guy's doing a great job of distracting me. This guy's doing a great job of distracting yeah. me. You know what? I'm gonna let him be. I'm gonna think he. I'm gonna let him think he won. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give him a little breathing room, and I'm gonna lay me some traps. Oh, hello. Trap, trap. Trap, trap, trap. Trap in the house. He mentioned that geek culture is capitalism's way of infantilizing the consumers. He might have a point. Look at them calm as shit. Because she has a pocket knife. <laughs> That's why. You have a pocket knife, Grab her, you? grab her now. She's, she's weakened. Fireplace, if you can. It's too late. Go for whatever. It's too late. Oh, no, I want... Ah, oh, there we go. This is the one I want. This is the one I want. Oop. And then... T oh, 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 it's not the head twister. Uh, I just got to level 20. So I am... Anonymous says, Rich, since you started cutting your hair shorter, you look great. No need for shaved head. You are at peak hair for you. I'm glad you guys exist. I'm full of vodka. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, the cops have been called. Shit, someone, someone just triggered my trap, Rich. I know. Which trap, though? Which trap? Probably a car trap. <gasps> Who's trying to put a battery in? Oh, wrong car! Shit! Wrong car, wrong car, wrong car. <gasps> They're putting a battery in the other car. God damn it. Damn it. Whoa! It's fine, Jack. It's fine. Oh, they did it. They put a battery in there. Fine. Trap. I'm trapped. Alright. I'm not doing a great job killing people. I'll be honest with you. That, incidentally, that trap you put in front of the driver's side door? Yeah. Useless. What do you mean? You can get around that. Can you? Yeah. Will they know how to get around it? Yes. You, you just, once you hit the A button prompt to get in the car door, you walk over the trap, no problem, and you just get in the car. Oh, okay. Sneaky bitch. I just want to kill this guy so much. You can go after him and no one else. You have the power. Yeah, I feel like he knows what he's doing, though. Do X. I was just seeing if I could, like, do anything against the table. That was quick, considering he didn't have a pocket knife. I wonder if he's... He did have a pocket knife. No, because you had the highlights come up. That doesn't happen if they have a pocket knife. Oh, he must have... He, the, might, he must have... He might be using a macro. Oh. No, well, there's also that perk that you can that you can get out of Isn't Jason's it? chokehold really easily. Oh, he's fast, too. Look at him. You can never die. What a son of a bitch. Go, kill his ass. Huh? Kill his ass. Right? He is so fucking fast. Red Letter Medea says, Hi, Jack and Dick. Hi. Very very brief Guardians 2 thoughts? Loved it. I thought it was kind of mediocre. Shit. I am Chester says, Hey, guys. What do you think was the better iconic Jason type in the movies? The deformed mutant... Um, the deformed mutant human Jason? Or the supernatural undead demon Jason? They're both fine. This guy is a pain in the ass. Yeah. What they do to you. You cannot die. Yeah. You can never die. He is a giant pain in the ass. Ah. I will get you. Even if everyone else gets away, I will get you. Son of a bitch. Why is he so good, Rich? Rise! You know what? Huh. This game is going to suck after the free weekend. You think? With this free 13,000 CP, everyone's going to have amazing perks. This guy has great perks. Though he shouldn't be that fast. No. That character is not a fast character. This is some bullshit. This, something's fishy about, like, this character, right? And he, he's knocking me down really easy. He's very fast, and he's getting out of chokeholds very easy. Could be a ping thing. I'm calling a slight amount of shenanigans. I'm calling a very slight amount of shenanigans here. There is a hack out for the game. Oh... Uh... Look at how fast he's moving. Yeah. Shit, the cops are here. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No, get out of here. Get out of here. Look at how fast he is. Any kill you can get, just do it. Good. Oh, good. I feel better about that now. 
Yeah. Yeah. Kill for mother. How many are alive? One, two, two. Well, at least in this area, okay. Three, four? Okay. Four alive? Yeah, yeah. I got a lot of killing to do, Rich. I know. I know. Hi! There we go. You know where they are. I know where they're going. Where are they? Might be... Well, you do you. You do you. Huh? Oh, they got guns and shit. Oh, crap. Oh, bugger. They're getting away. Yep. I thought I could get at least one more. Oh, well. So there's one more out there. There he is. Oh, they're far away too. Good. Ugh. Well, you know what? I killed the one jerk I wanted to kill. So really, to me, it's a personal victory. Are those the only two to actually get out? Uh, yeah. Because I killed yeah, the other yeah, one. You're not bad. You're not, you're not bad. But you have to kill this person. Oh, yeah. Saving my... Saving my mojo. Where are you? Probably in the house. Use your mojo. Nope. Hello! X, X! Ugh. Nice. One one of the most powerful Jason abilities is the ability to turn off your music. Yeah. And that's what I did there. I turned off yeah. my music. I, I, you know, located him. Tyron Sad says, what are, you, what are your thoughts on Seth MacFarlane's comedic Star Trek series? I'd be interested if MacFarlane wasn't the fucking lead actor on it. That's my, that's my only problem. It looks far more interesting than Discovery, which looks terrible. <laughs> right? Ooh. You want to take over? Yeah. yeah. I've been hogging. I got two Jasons. I'm good. Oh, you have to invert uh, look, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Have I gotten eight out of eight yet? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've gotten... I've the hardest gotten... part about getting eight out of eight yeah. is people dropping out when the match begins because they're mad they didn't get to be Jason. Yes. That's yes. the absolute hardest part about it. It's hard to find just a full a full map. But, yes, I've gotten a full eight kill. Uh, I've gotten out unscathed before. Like, you know, I've, I've been doing fairly well. I've, I've had some rough days and some... Uh, some good days. Today was a really good Friday the 13th day, but I think I talked to you on Monday. Monday, I was having the fucking worst luck finding people. Just nothing but dickheads out How are we doing tonight? Shit. Speaking of. And it's 8.30, so I should really stop drinking coffee. But here I am. How are you doing? <laughs> Mm. Enough to buy your mom. Hey, why don't you check out that mute button, Rich? What if I don't have see, see Monkey Boy? I know, your dad will still fight. Yep. What if I don't have a dad soon? Then I'll just buy you. There we go, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Link the zombie. It's very easy to mute people, which is nice. Voice chat was a mistake. No! It's good for the actual game. You need it for this game. Required. Who is that? I'm so annoyed because last round I got Jason through someone out of the window, but I was stuck in the like holding damn animation. Hmm. That's so, like, too many I people on mute. We need, we need, we're gonna need to communicate at some point. Now yeah, you can unmute them. Just hit LT. No, people know exactly how to use headset mics. They're doing that on purpose. They're being loud and obnoxious on purpose. Probably. 
because in general, people are dickheads. And I've been recording all of my footage, so when we talk about this during the episode, I'll cut to the people being obnoxious. I'm, I'm not I'm not very fond of the people who are music stations. Oh, right. Instant mute. Did, was that on stream, or was that somewhere else where somebody was playing Smash Mouth's All-Star over and over again? Somewhere else. That I had a Jason who was playing different remixes of Smash Mouth's All-Star. And so anytime Jason would come close, I would hear, Somebody wants something. <laughs> and it was hilarious because it became more frightening than the real music. It was great. It was fantastic. I mean, and obviously, like, it got annoying after a while because then just like Smash, you'd hear Smash Mouth's All Star right. circling the you the cabin you were in. But I am making 